She'll bring it to you. Hi, Mayor Pete. My name is Elias, and I'm an American Jew. And right now, I'm I'm horrified seeing Trump, what he's doing, giving Netanyahu the green light with his so-called peace plan, right? Yeah. Um, and recently, I was um, I was actually visiting the occupied territories, and I met a Palestinian family in the village of Susia, and we met and. Pretty soon after I arrived to this village, outside of their home, Israeli bulldozers came up to the village and demolished their home right in front of us. I was standing there with a 10-year-old Palestinian boy as we watched this all happen. And we know that annexation, if it happens, it's going to make things way worse, both for Palestinians and for the young Israeli soldiers who are there upholding Jim Crow-like laws. And recently, I was really happy to see that you said if annexation happens, that you'll make sure the U.S. doesn't foot the bill. So I want to know, now that annexation is happening in full force, are you ready to commit to make sure the U.S. doesn't send a blank check to Israel? Well, what we've got to make sure is that the U.S. is no longer uh, – she can, she can take the mic for you. Uh, we need to make sure that, that the U.S. is pushing away from, not toward annexation. So, for example, this, this so-called peace deal, which was, uh, as far as I can tell, concocted with no input from Palestinians. Now, usually, if you're proposing a deal between two sides, you want to go ahead and talk to both of those sides before you go public with it. And there's no evidence of that. And so we, uh, yeah, if I could just, uh, yeah. So part of what I've shared is that uh, uh, the U.S. cannot be promoting annexation like it is under this president. By the way, I'm not talking about withdrawing aid, withdrawing our support for Israel. Uh, but what's that? Well, if you're asking me to, to, to commit to withdrawing American support for Israel, the answer is no. But what I will say is that in my administration, the Israeli government will get the message that uh, we are not going to support those kinds of steps. They're bad for, in my view, they're bad for Israel. They're bad for Palestinians. They're bad for America. Now, we don't know what the state of play will be a year from now. But what we know, what's that? I stand by what I said about, uh, about this. Mm -hmm. or a couple months ago. What's that? A couple months ago you said that. So if you were asking me whether, in light of the president's proposal, I would withdraw aid to Israel, the answer is no. Okay, why did you go back on uh -huh. your plan? Uh, that's consistent with what, what I've said before. You told the University of Chicago that that? if annexation is happening, which is happening right now, What's they're going to vote on it on Sunday, that if annexation is happening... And we have to make sure that we're a force to prevent that from happening. Why do you make progressive laws? If you'd, if you'd like to... If you'd like to get into a debate with me, I'm not sure this is, this is our, our best uh, format for that. Uh, but I hope you will continue to see consistency in my policies. Thanks for joining us. I respect your activism, and I appreciate your joining us.